hello again uh, this video is in continuation of the first one where I showed how to configure basic configuration of a switch now in this video I'm going to configure a router I will also use basic configuration for a Cisco router and the router I use here is 28811 of course I'm not going to go through all the details so I'm going to configure router rapidly so if you want to see uh, the steps and go slow with a slow uh, pace so you have to see my first video otherwise I try to go straight away to uh, to the router and start configuring again what I do here I'm going to delete this console and instead I will come I will connect it to the router so I'll move it from the switch to the router okay and then I will use my host one host one in order to access the router the configuration for the, of the router through the hyper terminal or terminal through the terminal now I am exactly inside the router and I'm ready to configure it so the first thing as you notice as we have done it with the switch the default host name for router when the configuration is cleared or when there is no configuration yet so the default name is router and this mode here I am in the user exec mode so I will type the command enable uh, sorry okay I mistype this enable uh, now I move to the privilege exec mode from the privilege exec mode I will go now to the conf t I will type command configure terminal or shortcut which is conf t to move to the global configuration mode here I will change the name of the router I will type the command host name rt for example okay so once I type enter I press enter you see rt now has changed the, so the host name from router has changed to rt here it is now I need to protect my privilege exec mode my privilege exec mode by typing the command enable so I can do password and the password uh, will be Cisco but I know that this will be saved in uh, clear text in the configuration file so in order to type it as uh, to protect it or to make sure that configuration will be uh, secure in the config in the or the, the password will be secure in the configuration it will be encrypted I will use the enable secret enable secret command and type the password Cisco 123 here I am uh, okay we can always have a look at the configuration from the global configuration mode you should type do show running config or conf and here it will display the password that you just typed okay so I don't have to exit go back to the privilege exec mode just type uh, this command here but you sh it should start with do do and then you type whatever show uh, you can do of course this is limited because don't forget we are using simulator but on real router uh, it will work from different modes okay so once I have done that uh, I I have to go again to the global configuration mode and the next step will to uh, provide the password for VTY access VTY line access so I will go to line configuration mode VTY this is for 10 net and secure shell I will choose four or five VTY lines to provide with a password the password will be class okay and login so how many people can access can turn it to the router simultaneously at the same time five so we have line zero one two three and four so five people can turn it at the same time or simultaneously to this router now from this line VTY 04 I would like to go directly to the console to the console line I will use the command line console zero and from here I'm going to provide also a password so you see each time I'm completing my command by tab by pressing a tab and the password will be class one two three and I have to provide again the login uh, the login uh, the login command under this console line in the uh, line configuration mode once I am done I exit from this line configuration mode console line configuration mode I go back to the global configuration mode what I should do here uh, I can type again the running configuration show ran just shortcut like this scroll down and I will see the password that I assigned to the console port or VTY uh, lines good now what will be the next uh, thing I need to encrypt this password the same thing we have done uh, with the switch so all these passwords are in clear text so you can protect them by typing the command service password encryption 
okay so anyone even if your your friend if he comes behind your shoulder and try to get look have a look at the configuration while you are displaying it so he will not be able to understand what are the password because simply they will be encrypted now let's display again the configuration file you see the password the vty line password as well as the console line password are both encrypted so now you are on the safe side right so after that we can type a banner we can type a banner a banner is simply a uh, message that you want to display for anyone who is accessing your your router so you can type this double hash sign and put a message like access to this router is is prohibited for example prohibited which means that uh, only the administrator can have this access now this i did not talk about this in my previous video when you type the banner message of the day make sure that the limit the delimiting characters uh, do not appear in the uh, sentence that you want it that you want to be displayed uh, otherwise your message will be will be cut so hash sign do we have hash sign here in the message no there is no such thing so that's that's why make sure that you can use whatever character to delimit your message provide this character does not appear in the message itself now let me just exit i press on control z okay uh, again i disable i i go back to the user exec mode exit let's say i want to go back to access again the router to the console so this message will be displayed the banner message will be displayed okay so i can read this one so you can put whatever message uh, you need in order to enforce specific rules and uh, authorizations so the password basically to type in this case will be class one two three you remember we type this password we specify this password for the console access now i want to go to the privilege exec mode uh, i have to use the enable secret password which is uh, sorry it is cisco one two three okay and here i am again i can have access to my global to my configuration file now what is it in the nvram non-volatile ram show startup okay it seems that it's empty because the startup-config file is not present so i need to save my config my running configuration file so this configuration file that i'm displaying here it is in ram now if the router turn off or by mistake there is a, a power problem uh, you might lose all configuration especially if you spend a lot of time doing that so it's very important that you you keep on saving your work on regular regularly so for example now i can use a command copy running startup and here you are you can display the uh, startup configuration so it is there it has been saved in a non -vol in the non-volatile ram okay this is the place where configuration files will go will be saved will be stored permanently uh, okay so now so f so far so good everything is okay i saved my configuration now the next step consists of assigning ip address to the fast ethernet port of the router of course routers they have lan interfaces those interfaces that that are going to connect to switch and they have names like fast ethernet 00 fast ethernet 001 and something like this sorry i just paused my uh, video now i resume uh, i need to uh, connect to uh, assign ip address to the fast ethernet 00 of the router uh, of course i do this through the uh, terminal uh, on the on my pc uh, first i need to go to the global configuration mode to the global configuration <coughs> and then i go to the interface configuration mode so i have to type the command interface fast ethernet zero zero this is the name of the interface i want to access press uh, enter and then i enter my ip address 192.168.01 subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 of course if we go back here we notice that by default all interfaces are shut down especially if you erase the configuration file or you are dealing with a new router that you just received it from uh, that you just purchased so what we do now we have to bring interface up by typing the command no shut up like this we are enabling our interface and you notice and you notice that stand has changed to up line protocol has changed to up so everything is okay and again i need to press on control z to go back to the privilege exec mode and from here i will type i will save my configuration 
into the non-volatile RAM. Uh, okay, I can double check this and then go to show startup. Show startup to see whether the IP address has been saved or not. Yes, it is here. Now I am done with the router. The next step consists of accessing router remotely from host. Uh, I go to host one. Okay, I start command prompt. Right, so this is a command prompt. This is previous work. And from here, I'm going to turn it to my router, 192. But before I turn it, there is one thing very important that should be done, and it should be habit. You should ping 192.168.01. Just make sure you have reachability, IP eligibility with the remote device with which you want to establish connection. Otherwise, if ping doesn't work, it means there is an issue here, and you have to find out why. Why? Unless sometimes there is firewall in between, so there is. this is... Uh, Another thing, so I press, I type the command tennet, I specify the IP address of my router, of the interface of router, which is 192.168.0.1, and now it's, uh, the router is asking me for the password. So this is the, the tennet password, which is class 123, if I remember, or class, yes, it is class only. So now I type the password, I have access to the user exec mode, then I type the enable uh, keyword or command, now I'm prompted for password. I have to type the right password to have access to the uh, privilege exec mode. So it's one, two, three, and here I am in the privilege exec mode. So I can do whatever I want now. I can manage the router remotely. So I don't have to go, um, you see, I, I don't have to connect directly through the console with the router. No, I can be either on the same LAN or on different LAN. Now I am accessing this router through the Ternet, through the network. So just forget about this uh, console line. Now I'm just deleting the console cable. Now my only access to the router is through the Ternet. Of course, you can configure whatever you want on the router. The host one can be on the same LAN as we see now or on different networks. So you can be in one country and you can remotely access a router in a different country, of course. The only thing that you should avoid when you Ternet to a router, sometimes it happens by mistake, is to do something like this. You see, this is the uh, IP address through which you are accessing your router. So just make sure not to change it. Make sure not to change it or to, to give a different IP address. Otherwise, you will be disconnected and you will not have access to the router. So now, if you do something like this, for example, let's do this experiment, okay? If I do this interface, facet and then zero, zero, let me give IP address, let's say, 192.168.0.100 and observe what happens now I press enter uh, sorry I need to add the subnet mask ah, I press enter no way now I lost access to the router because I changed the IP address and you see here it's complaining it says connection timed out remote host not, not responding so either Okay, so what I can do basically, I'm trying to turn that, so uh, it's going to spend some time doing this. So what I can do either if I know what is the uh, my new IP address, so I can specify it here and try to access it. Okay, but it seems that that's why we have always to do this ping, 192.168.0.100. So you see, it is not working. That's why. You have to be very careful when you access a router remotely. Do not change the IP address through which you got that access. You, 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 uh, you obtain that access. So, so now, the only way for you, if this router is on a different building, different room, different floor, etc., you have to go in person, connect to the router using the console cable, okay, like this. Go again through the terminal, and here you have access, you see? Yeah, and here you have again, you have access. And change the IP address of facet 00, return it back to the previous one. Uh, this is very tedious work to do, especially if you are on different building, different city, different country. So at that moment, the only way for you to gain access again to your router will be through the console. Okay, so let's try again. Let's remove this console cable okay go to the command prompt turn that again oh sorry yes I have to 
yeah now I have to make sure that uh, it can ping 192.168.0.1 why it doesn't ping why we have this problem so so this is it is timing out so let me just go and check again what's going on here so what is happening so I have to go again use my console cable and access router through the console using the terminal and see what is the problem okay one one nine two one sixty eight uh, zero one one nine two one sixty eight zero one now can I ping to this IP address one nine two one sixty eight zero one so this is something due to uh, uh, it is something that might be due to the simulator because normally this thing shouldn't happen uh, again I will go through the console and find out show IP inter interface or show IP interface brief uh, okay the interface what I can do I can go to fast internet 00, zero and shut down and then I bring it up again Okay, uh, I saved my configuration. Go to the, the to this host. My computer here. I type IP config to see. Uh, okay, it looks yes. It looks like it lost. Okay, this is a simulator. Whenever there is a con IP conflict, it's going to lose its IP address. So I have to configure it from the beginning again. It's okay. So now I ping my uh, router. Does it work? Yes, it is pinging. Now I can turn that 192.168.0.1 and here I am. I have to provide the, the password, enable, and I type the password Cisco123. Okay, so what we learned with the Cisco Packet Tracer is that if there is a conflict, another device is using the same IP address, uh, host one actually simply removed its uh, network parameters, its IP address, deleted its IP address. So you have to go back again and reconfigure it. So this is the end of my second demo about basic configuration of router. So if things are not really clear, uh, please go back to my first demo where I uh, spent some time describing the different steps I use to configure these, uh, th these points here. Okay, thank you for viewing my video. See you in my next demos.